Hey everybody, NC Prepper here with you. In today's episode, I am going to talk about my small get home bag. I did choose the UT, UTG bag. Um, it's a pretty tough denier material. Uh, I do like that the buckles on the front like this. It's, it does do a great job of keeping everything real tight. Yeah, it's got a water holder on the side. It's got some molly pockets on it. Um, this is one of the things that I just I have thoroughly enjoyed is one of the Stanley but the neat thing about this is this is stainless steel so you can cook in it it's full of water right now so I won't be able to open it up completely but this top part unscrews and this becomes your cup you can drink out of it's a uh, 30 I believe it's 32 ounces of water but I do like that I could boil in it if I needed to and then, and then I don't have to, I can pour water right, right into my cup and drink out of it. And then it, it, the, uh, I love this strap here. It just keeps that down tight and you can just lock this in, hold that tight like that. Honestly, on this side, I don't know why I put them there. <laughs> they were, they just fit. Um, and I can use it for, you know, uh, putting down a charger if I needed to. It's multi-purpose, so you could dig with it if you needed to. You could use this as a one-time weapon because it is pretty strong if you needed to. Uh, I've seen in one of the Dave Canterbury videos that he likes to carry the plastic ones of these. Uh, they don't weigh anything. These four don't weigh anything at all, so they don't really add any weight to the bag, but there's just so many things that you could do, use to um, with those that I just keep them in on the side like that. You do have pockets. You've got some molly webbing here. Not sure the stain on the counter. Yeah, so, and this buckle comes loose, so if you need to do a quick release, you can. It takes off like that, but it's a real heavy duty buckle. On this side, I've got a, a pocket knife. Just, uh, just a spare pocket knife I like to keep. It fits real well here. It's never come off, so I just kind of leave it there. Of course, I'd have trouble putting it on. All right, and it's a carabiner. Something I, I think I took off of something else, you know. But it's it's just something I put there at one point, and I've just never. It just you just never know sometimes if I need to. I've got some rope in here. I'll show you in a minute that you could string something up. It's got a pocket here across the back. It's supposed to be for your everyday carry weapon. It's got some Velcro in here. Let's see if I can turn this so you can see it. So that you could put a, uh, a holster here, but I don't carry anything like that with me. What I do have is I've got a, a cloth that I keep in there. I've got one of the heat sheet this is a two-person bivy. There are times where I may have one or two of my kids with me. Um, so if I need to, if it's depending upon, I could get them in this or I could get in with one of them. Um, it is for two people. Um, I like these a little bit more than the uh, regular, the cheaper Mylar blankets that you can get. Because you can get literally 10 of those for 10 bucks. You know, it, it was something that could help you in a pinch. But this is a little stronger than those. You know, if you've ever seen the backs of these, you can use it as a first aid shelter. You, you can make it as shelter. You can use it as a ground tarp. You can cover stuff with it. There's just a number of things that you can do with this. And it reflects 90% of your body heat. So it weighs virtually nothing, a couple ounces, and it fits real well in that back pocket there. So it's nice. Uh, this is a uh, 3 mil. 55 gallon drum liner I like to keep with me as an extra shelter uh, string up something to keep the rain off of you if you needed to that's it for that back pocket um, it's hard to show but there's some uh, velcro pieces in there if you wanted to put a um, velcro holster you could but 
right. Okay, across the top. It does have Velcro there. You could put a name tape if you wanted to. Or I've seen people put their blood type. Uh, just different things like that. In this top pocket, right on top, I like to carry my headlamp. Keep a, uh, just a bandana in there. Multiple uses for bandanas. Keep some extra batteries for my headlamp in case, like I said, because this batter, this bag, I do anticipate uh, being up to 48 hours away. So the headlamp, although it's lightweight, it's like one of those Energizer ones. Um, you know, depending upon how much time I needed at night, depending upon what time of year. Here in North Carolina, it can get dark in the wintertime at five o'clock. So I could be in the dark for quite a long time. So having some extra batteries is helpful. I don't even know what type of string this is. It was just off of a spool and I just wound some up one day and just wrapped it in there. Um, just a little bit of light cordage. I do have some extra knives in here. This one's kind of nice because it's flat. It's like one of the skeletal type of knives. Uh, I like the blade that's real flat like that on this particular one. It's a really sharp knife too. I carry a couple of these towels. You know, these are, you get these wet and these just expand out. They're just light load towels is what they're called. Oops. And a compass. That's what I've got in this top one. Just things that I can get to pretty easily uh, right on top without having to dig into the bag a lot. So and you can see that there's some redundancy. I've got a couple knives already that I've shown. Moving on to the front pocket here, right up top, I got a, my fire steel, and this is one of the light my fire fire steels that has the whistle in it in the in this part here where the striker is. I uh, carry some wet fire. These a uh, couple of those. This is one that I've lit uh, just to test to see uh, just how quickly it lights, how long it lights, and you, it is extinguishable, so you can put these out. Um, what I read after the fact is, is that once you've opened the, I could probably throw this one away because once you've opened these, they don't hold their fire uh, properties after it's been taken out of one of these packs for after a couple of weeks. So I'll probably end up just throwing that away. There's an extra one of those. A uh, bunch of alcohol swabs. I mean, you can use this as fire tender um, or for cleaning your tools or cleaning the blade if you needed to to cut something to eat with or whatnot. I've got. About 10 of them here, I think. Um, and there's two to a pack, so there's 20 of those. And like I said, you could easily start a fire with one of those. Uh, you just hit it with a, I've actually done it, is take your fire steel, fire steel and you can uh, spark on that and it'll catch pretty quickly. Um, if the ground's damp, you know, I've got some aluminum foil in here so I could start a fire on this, make this into a bowl, a uh, number of things you can do. I don't know exactly know how much uh, aluminum foils in here, but uh, it folds up pretty small and it's lightweight. Uh, oh, some more fire stuff. You got some uh, this quick t these quick tenders, and uh, this is one of the SOL lighters. You just flick that lighter, and, and then you can spark into the, one of those. You can see I've got multiple ways to start a fire, and then just a regular big lighter, bright yellow. In case I drop it, it'll stand out. So that's kind of, like you can see, kind of my fire pocket. Because uh, sometimes of the year, starting a fire is very, very helpful. So I have everything right here up on top so I don't have to dig into the bag. Okay. Then, there's a front pocket here, which I've got one of these saws. Um, I think a lot of people don't understand how to use these saws properly. Um, what you're typically supposed to do is you're supposed to find a real green sapling, real a green stick, as long, a little bit longer than this, and you'll cut. You use your knife and cut um, 
into the ends of the stick and then actually pull this across and make a, a bow saw. And then you can saw into small branches and saplings and things where they try to just use these rings and try and pull the rings back and forth. Uh, and that tends to make these things break. Uh, maybe I'll do a video at some point of showing you how to make one of those. If you put this in a, using a stick and you actually use the rings to hold the saw on either end and you'll actually can form your own bow saw out of a uh, green sapling um, you'll you'll be able to use that a lot longer than uh, that's the only thing that's in that front pocket there okay. in this front pocket uh, sometimes I'll come across things and I'll uh, I want to I'll just throw them in there this is some more quick tender this is uh, some stuff that has by Coglins um, it is one these have been put in petroleum like a kind of like the tabs that they put in uh, Vaseline petroleum jelly to get those to spark those could probably go up into that front pocket but I just wanted to leave them in here so I put them in this pocket instead this is would be my uh, first aid kit slash EDC kit I might could take this out just by itself um, I needed to leave it with somebody or to uh, uh, carry you know I, this is in one of the lock sack bags it's waterproof but there's things like there's a little button compass in there there's a little razor knife some super glue some safety pins some wipes there's some larger bandages in there um, let's see I've got a medication pack you know I've got uh, some I guess cortisone type of thing down to antibiotics some burn gel some uh, uh, Dramamine for if you're motion sickness some ibuprofen um, some Tylenol Electrolytes okay if you're summertime you're doing really bad you need to add some of this to get your energy back up put those in the bottle of water um, This is the admin pack uh, this has got some duct tape Super glue, button tab, um, looks like more duct tape, a little razor knife in there, some safety pins, a couple, another razor blade, a uh, quick tab, uh, forget the name of the, to start a fire. Um, this is the, some iodine ta uh, pads. You, one quick tip on these is you would not want to put this directly on your skin you or a cut. You want to dilute this in water. These tabs, you can actually uh, dump this into a little cup of water and dilute these down. And then um, you can use the water to pour on to uh, wound if you want to. I think uh, USNER Doc has got a video on how to use these pads correctly where you can wipe these directly on a cut or whatnot. These burn like hell. Don't put this right on a cut. Uh, small banded pack that is some medical tape that's just wrapped around a credit card of some kind um, band-aids these actually may be for blisters I think this is a, a special thing that band-aid came out with if you've got a blister um, kind of a, a water sack that you can slap onto a blister and uh, keep walking if you needed to because as I said big thing is for me to get home you know I've got a pair of uh, some latex gloves just in case um, some moleskin and then some 3 by 3 pads so it's kind of something that I had taken of uh, I've seen some videos from USNER doc and he's got some first aid kits and I like how he has put everything into individual packs inside so you can pull out the pack you need and, and then leave everything else in there and then uh, these lock sack packs are waterproof up to 200 feet so you're not going to get this done and they seal real nice you can and they're uh, airproof so you can i'll repack that later but uh you can squish that real flat tight and get all the air out and it will typically stay it won't they will stay sealed which is real nice continuing on um just some things that I like to keep on the carabiner here um, unless in case you are illegally detained by some 
manner not you would not want to use this if the police have detained you but you were illegally detained uh, I have a handcuff key I like redundancy so I've got I found this little I found this at the dollar store of all places it's a little LED light and it's got a compass in it and then there's a carabiner uh, I like to carry a, a safety pin a paper clip a p38 can opener and then another little Leatherman uh, this has just got a couple different blades on it it's got a knife blade some scissors or some tweezers in this but it's I like the package I liked how small that was it's real lightweight so it's a little multi-tool if you will um, uh, for my bigger flashlight I've got the the Phoenix E11 this is a dual it's got two brightnesses it's got a low and a high I think on low I want to say 20 something lumens at maybe 30 at the most and then when you turn this down it, it's when you turn it all the way to a tightness it's up over 100 lumens it's maybe 115 118 something like that I don't know but the other nice thing is, is it runs on one AA battery and you'll probably see in this one I keep uh, lithium ultimate energizer in there I just the Phoenix lights are just some of the best on the market They're they actually have a uh, an IC chip in there that regulates the light and gets you the most out of your battery uh, most consistent light um, it's a uh, IPX 8 waterproof so I don't have to worry about this bag getting dunked it's completely sealed uh, real nice flashlight real lightweight um, I'll just grab everything in the front here since it's a little hard to show so I have got some earplugs in case, I don't know, you just need some earplugs. Um, I like throwing a couple of extra batteries in. I've got some of the different lithium batteries in a regular battery. Uh, another lighter and a Sharpie. This front admin pocket I carry. I love these little pens. They're, they don't sell them anymore. It really made me mad. This is the Zebra F301. They call it a compact pen, where it's full size when you open it up, but it's small when you close it. I usually have one of these in my front pocket too, all the time. Let's see got a couple of these bags these are one liter bags that can they're stand up by themselves this is the poncho just a simple poncho that I, I actually had opened at one point didn't mean to but just shoved it in the front and then a uh, right in the rain notepad this is that waterproof paper kind of like there is actually a pen that you can use that they make to write on that paper that makes it even even the ink is waterproof but I think that you can also use a Fisher space pen do the same thing okay we'll move on to the side pocket here this is kind of just a hodgepodge of different things but starting out from the beginning just a little whistle I found with just yet another compass you can see that I like the redundancy uh, it's just something inexpensive that I can keep real lightweight uh, so I don't have to worry about uh, if I lose a whistle or whatnot for signaling uh, another lighter uh, this is one of the Coglin multi uh, utility whistle it's got a uh, thermometer on it this is kind of nice because it does have a little magnifying glass built in never truly really tried to use it I probably should I'll make a video and see if we can't start a fire with that thing at some point. Uh, it does have a compass. I don't know if I said that or not. So you can see I've got multiple compasses. Uh, another little Swiss Army knife. Some uh, bug spray. Um, I've got a couple of, of these Propel. Uh, these have um, energy, vitamin C, uh, the big thing I got it for is the uh, basically just the energized. It's just a, a something to flavor the water if you needed to. Hopefully, mask some of the other things that I might do to it with those water tablets. Got a couple packs of those. 
looks like I've been into it. I had more hard candy in there than that, but I usually try to carry some hard candies in there, some Smarties. These won't melt or anything, and I like the flavor of them. So I usually keep two or three. Looks like I have been into this and got some. Uh, another little Swiss Army knife. You know, this is the full size one with the regular blade. Uh, nothing real too fancy about this one. This one does have a saw, which is kind of nice. I do like the fact. So I guess this one is the one they call the Swiss Army Camper. Um, this one's got a saw blade on it. So I could process some small wood if I needed to start a fire. And that's the main reason I got this knife specifically is that it's real lightweight. Has a real sharp blade. Uh, it's got a couple other tools on it as well, but it has that saw. And you can get this knife for like twenty dollars, even at Target, around the twenty 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 five dollar mark, even at Target. I don't know why Walmart doesn't sell that one. I don't think they do anyway. This does not come with it. I literally had bought a knife twenty years ago, and it came with this pouch, and I just put it in there. I think I've actually had broken the tip or whatever. On the knife that came with this one but I've always liked this case so I kept it and it came in helpful came in useful um, I don't know what this is oh this is a um, coffee filters if I needed to filter some water real nice to do that with just some simple coffee filters that they're made to keep the coffee grinds out so it will keep debris out of your water if you needed to um, and this is basically some stuff that came out of an MRE and I may have added a, uh, a wipe in there or something, but this is just the uh, accessory pack from an MRE, like the little toilet paper pack, the sugar, and like I said, I think I supplemented a couple more things in there to go with it. Um, that's all for this pocket on the side. Really just some stuff I can get to pretty quickly. Um, and not have to dig into the main pouch like uh, that's pretty much the theme of everything That's why I like this particular bag. It's got a lot of nice pockets to it um, And I'll bag the rest of that stuff up later All right, and then let's get on to the main pocket Make sure I got the bag centered still So this one's kind of nice because it does have this, uh, yeah, this pocket here to keep water and stuff out. All right. So in here, uh, this is 50 feet of uh, mill spec paracord. I just, I this is the way it came wrapped. I've just never used it, never had the need for it, but. Uh, um, this this 50 feet of paracord. Um, this is a little bottle of uh, bleach, chlorine bleach. So I can treat water that way as well. So you can see I've got a multitude of ways of treating some water. Um, this is funny, but um, it's a little fishing kit. I think I literally I bought this thing off of eBay because. It was a couple dollars, and for me to go out and buy that stuff, I don't fish a whole lot. I mean, I, I have been fishing, but I'm not a big fisherman, so I don't typically keep this stuff around my house. But I happened to be looking for some other stuff, and I thought, well, on eBay, I would just type this in. So I think I got two of these, two or three of these things for less than ten dollars i think i think i bought i don't know but i don't i don't the ch prices on ebay change all the time but it's got a floater it's got some rope it's got a bunch of hooks and some weight and some fishing line in there just something that somebody put together and i like to support local people so uh, I, I went ahead and bought it um uh, uco matches these are the Hurricane matches, the, the ones that burn 15 seconds or so. I get these at um, REI, I believe. I like these because of the small container and it's got the uh, striker on the side and it's got some extra strikers inside there. Looking for. Um, 
got a larger compass so uh, it's got a magnifying glass on it uh, just the traditional one this spins um, so you can just a larger compass a lot more accurate than the other compasses I've, I carry in there but I like to carry two or three compasses just in case um, this is a bag of toilet paper One of the so for my large full size knife that it actually does fit in here real well is I like to carry one of the Mora knives. Um, this is one of the uh, carbon steel blade. I don't know what particular model this is, but I've just always liked the feel of the handle. It's a really sharp, sharp knife. I don't have to worry about sharpening it all the time. I do put a, a light coating of olive oil on mine, um, or if I or food grade mineral oil something like that so if I had to cut up some food or something I don't have some type of oil that I wouldn't want to eat so I put that on there um, on the back side I put a needle a sail uh, one of the sail needles like Dave Canterbury calls for so if I needed to sew the bag up or my clothes up or something I could take either um, some of the the inner guts of this or some fishing line or whatever and so but I keep it on the back of this so I can just peel that off and I know where it is all the time um, a lot of people know the more knives the, if you don't have one you've got to buy one you can get these off Amazon for 12 to 15 dollars uh, some of the sh one of the sharpest knives right out of the box I've ever seen uh, just I can't speak highly enough on these knives um, now I'm kind of getting down into the food aspect of it, or at least right here on top. Um, I carry some hard can more hard candies with me. These just happen to be some lifesavers. Um, you do want to be careful with these because these could melt. You may want to eat on those first. But And then I carry some beef jerky, some peanuts. Um, ah, this is what I was looking for earlier. Um, this is uh, the kind of the heart of the filtration system that I carry with me. Uh, this is the uh, Sawyer Mini, um, rated down to one, the 0.1 micron. Uh, this is really cool because you can fill up this bag. This is uh, you'd fill this bag up with water. And then this just screws right onto the top. But the neat thing about the way this filter is also is this can go onto a standard water bottle. Or even, I don't know, it looks like it could kind of go on a water hose too. Um, so then what you'll do is the flow, you'll suck through this side. So then this goes here and you can actually put the straw on it if you wanted to. And then you'll drink through this side and that's why the caps on it to keep this from getting contaminated by the dirty water so you can uh, if you needed to you could put this right into the water drink through the straw uh, you can put it on a bottle you can fill this up and then i can use that to fill my uh, water bottle back up and that's i don't know if i said it earlier but this is rated for a hundred thousand gallons of water that is i think i, I added that up one time that's like three or four swimming pool the average size swimming pool full of water you could go have it go through this filter and there's some more beef jerky and some peanuts in here oh one of the things i did mention uh, i saw in there just now is uh, this is some military um, energy gum this is a little bit more than you'll find like the jolt cola or something like that these are what the soldiers carry um, each tablet I don't know if you can read that or not contains a hundred milligrams worth of caffeine and there's five uh, pieces of gum in here so if I needed to really keep going and was running out of energy this is one tablet is uh, one little piece of gum is 100 milligrams of caffeine you don't want to eat a whole lot of these I've eaten these before they will hype you up big time but you can buy these off Amazon you can buy either a huge box of them or you can buy five or six packs um, people sell these they come in cinnamon 
this one's arctic mint um, and there's also like a spearmint or something but um these i think these come in the food packs now but they, i bought them individually and like i said there's five pieces of gum in there um more fire starting this is a trioxane uh, bar you can light the whole thing or you can break off pieces and then you can start a fire with this you can cook food with this but i could heat water up in this thing in the water bottle um almost done uh, what i do like to carry some people carry the life raft food i'm not a real big fan of that stuff um uh the some of them taste like coconut some uh, there's some of them i've seen uh, urban prepper did a huge uh, he's done several three-day challenges on all his different food and, and if you haven't looked him up you need to he there he does a good job and they're funny too so but he eats starts like on a weekend and eats that food three days three meals a day for three days what i did was i just bought cliff bars i just i like the uh these are the peanut butter ones and there are uh there are six bars in here so i carry six cliff bars and the diet would be the same you know you kind of get tired of that after a little while i think but i'm trying to get home you know i'm not out camping i'm uh i'm working my way home and i need just enough to keep going so that i can get myself home um one of the things i do carry in here as well is i carry uh two packs of this emergency drinking water um i would obviously go to this one first but if i uh needed to these are just two packs of water to get started um, while i may be waiting for some water to filter um, or i haven't gotten to a stream yet to, to use my sawyer filter um, these weigh next to nothing they're good for five years uh, you just can't go wrong and they're lightweight they fit right in the pack as well um, for shelter i did have the the five gallon the 55 gallon drum liner and i did have the uh, survival heat sheet the sol blanket but then the other thing i carry is sol's emergency bivy so if this um just another probably if i were out up like i said before i, I tried to plan this out so that if i was up to 48 hours away from home i actually would have something that i could sleep in In the bottom of here, I think this is a fire starting kit. I've got this one sealed off just so that it doesn't. Uh, I think I've got something in here. Yeah. Um, uh, I'll do a video on this one at some point um, and uh, we'll look to see what's inside here. It's kind of a mystery pack right now. I think this is probably just a small survival kit that I put together with like a whistle and. Just different stuff like that um, and then there's a second one in here these are real nice because they can both fit flat across the bottom like that and they're metal so they won't get bent real bad oh this is a survival kit so that one's probably a fire starting kit but this one's a survival kit with a little knife a compass some duct tape some more matches a whistle looks like some safety pins maybe a couple bandages some these fire quick tabs I was on a kick for a while of making uh, Altoid survival kits and I just wrapped it with a couple band-aids. Oh, what the hell? We'll open that one up because let's take the tape off of this one and we'll take a look because I can always tape it back up. But this is nice because it leaves you with a little bit of, I'm going to bump the camera here for a little bit and put the tape on, the, on that. Yeah. So this is uh, lighter looks like some drier lint oh there's some uh, more water tabs uh, this is some uh oh there's a little another little of these I bought these at walmart they're just little razor knives i think i bought these actually in the sewing section um these are more vaseline in uh cotton balls some dryer lint A little bit of jute twine, razor blade, and some uh, some more matches. Oh, 
this and we'll seal that back up. Uh, fatwood. Just a little stick of fatwood. Just shave a little bit of that off. It's a great fire starter. Um, it, this is a natural resin um, wood that you can carry with you. Um, I've seen actually, uh, like my fire sell some of this where they've drilled a hole in here and they put some paracord through and then they put a fire steel on it, but I didn't go through all that. That's just, I actually bought this. Um, we have a uh, grocery store chain called Food Line and in their picnic section, they actually have this in a box. So you can buy a huge box of this for like $5 and there must be like 50 pieces of this stuff in there. So um, real great for starting a fire. Um, this bag, if I can get it on the camera right, it actually has two pockets inside. It was stuff full, so full of stuff, I didn't have anything in this front pocket. On this back pocket, I actually carry uh, one of the North Carolina maps with me too. So I do live in North Carolina, like I say, and a lot of time I travel within a couple hours of being at home. So you can get these at the welcome centers and I just keep it in a lock sack bag to look at everything else. And these are real nice. You can just sit back here in this back pocket. And that's it. That's what I carry in this bag. You can, um, in some ways it looks like a lot of stuff, but it fits real neatly in this bag. Um, oh, sorry. There's some wet ones too. So you can wipe your hands if you needed to. Do any kind of cleanup that you wanted to. Uh, different items I think that you could use to get home. Um, the food has come in, in handy so many different times I can't even count. Like I said, even just trying to get home one evening in a snowstorm that we had. Um, I had my kids with me. We were having beef jerky, peanuts, and so we had some cliff bars and some stuff that actually tastes good. Some of that life raft food. Uh, I have another backpack that I'm going to do a video on as well that I actually do have some of the life raft food. But I will probably take it out and, and swap it out with uh, some of these cliff bars or something because, as I said, I'm trying to get home. I'm not trying to camp. Um, but I think that uh, a lot of people could use something like this. If they, no means is this is an all inclusive kit. You know, you need to put in what you think that you need. There's some things in different parts of the country that you may need more than others. Um, I have kind of built this around what I think I would need if I were in North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, Tennessee, any of those places like, or that I usually would travel to um, that I could be up to several days away from home. Uh, so let me know what you think. You know, give me some comments, give me feedback in the, in the comments section. Give me a thumbs up. And as always, I appreciate that. It really lets me know what videos people like and don't like. Uh, Please subscribe to my channel and I will continue coming with videos as soon as I can. Thanks. Bye.